All right, what's going on guys, Lawson here. So today, got a boatload. Got Mark, you guys know Mark, and I got Spencer and Leora. Leora, I can't remember how to pronounce her name. From Slack Tide Media, they are very cool. They wanted to come out and film and fish today, so that should be a ton of fun. It's gonna be super simple, just gonna be wall hopping around the river and trying to catch some big snook and big jack. Primarily big snook this morning, but we're gonna see if we can get some good film and some good fish to make some good film. You guys ready? Yeah. Mark's on. Turn that boy. Under? Oh, I'm getting chased. We got all types of things going on here. Oh, God. Dude. <laughs> dude, let me reel this in. Come on. There's too much going on right now. That's gotta be it, right there. Dude, he missed it. Whoa. There we go, that's it. Come on, that was... Dude, just eat it! Kevin <laughs> 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 Van Damme's in the house! I got a little hyped because it took me about 40 tries to get him to eat finally. That's a fat jack, dude. I don't think I've ever set the hook harder in my life than I did on that. <laughs> I saw that, yeah. He's not even. He's in the side. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna try to turn him. He's not. All right, we'll go this way then. Cause he wouldn't turn. <laughs> All right. All right. That is the first fish of the morning for me. Mark lost a jack. Oh, he didn't lose it. It just came off boat side when he was unhooking it. About the same size right there. These are 10, 12 pound jack. These are. I was just saying to Spencer that these are the fun ones to catch right here. When they get a little bigger, they can be a lot of work, but they're still fun. But we're gonna lease him and see if we can get on some bigger jack and some bigger snook. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, snook. Oh, he just threw it. <laughs> Son of a gun. Instantly slurped, hooked, jumped, and threw it. That was a big one, too. On again. I don't know what I got on here. <laughs> so you got I think I know what this is. Yeah, oh, yeah. Old Jack Carvalli. That was heartbreaking. I thought that was going to be my snut. But he's deciding to go uh, do a 180 around the boat here. They've all been about the same size. That one's actually bigger than the first one I caught, but this one's not even fighting really. That is second jack for me, I believe, fourth total for the group this morning. I just missed a snook. Well, he shook the spook instantly on a snook, and I threw right back up in there, and this guy came and ate it, and I thought that snook came back for it. But it's all right. We're still looking for that bigger snook, but we got our definitely got our jack filling already. It's a jack, it's a little. <laughs> I this thing I love catching like the ones we're catching this morning. And this one's not terrible. It's probably gonna be like four pounds. But when you're trying to catch snook and like everything you throw just gets eaten by a jack, it starts to get frustrating. Okay. Oh, thank you. Number four or five for me, getting real sick of these things already, but we're still looking for a big snook. All right, we are on the move to flip some docks now. You know, we threw top waters this morning, probably caught, I don't know, six or seven jack maybe. They're all good size, you know, between 10 and 12 pounds, which are the fun ones to catch. You know, that's a good size. Probably, I enjoy catching jack when they get over 10 pounds, so they put up a good fight and they're not just annoying. But 
we hooked one snook and it instantly threw it so we came back in the river tried for tarpon tarpon very slow you know we saw a few roll we just didn't feel like it was worth investing five hours to catch maybe one little eight pound tarpon so we're gonna start flipping docks and see if we can catch some snook out from underneath docks just very simple stuff gonna be throwing artificial shrimp skipping them way under there and letting them sink and hopefully we'll catch some snook now i'm i'm tired of these jack i'm ready to catch some snook there's something tiny baby sitting underneath this leaf he's right you're gonna have to just go go up top and down on him i think Dude, what is it? This is so cute. Dude, that's a baby dolphin, dude. That is a baby is. mahi. You're right. Is it really? Dude, there's yes, a baby is. mahi. We are in shore. You can't say that you didn't catch anything today. <laughs> that is literally a baby dolphin right there. That is insane. Just absolutely insane. So we were just cruising down, flipping docks, and I saw something swim underneath a leaf right there, and I was just joking around. I was like, oh, it's a dolphin, because it was swimming down structure, and it literally is a baby mahi right there swimming around that we just netted. You know, he's very, very sensitive. You know, we don't want to kill him or anything, but we want to take some footage of him, so we've got him in the net kind of swimming around right now. But, I mean, that is, that's a first for me. I've seen triple tail in the river before, and I've caught some, but that is the first time I've ever seen a juvenile dolphin inshore. That's just... That's awesome. All right, there's our little uh, our little dolphin right there that we just released. You know, we took a few photos of him. We we're worried about him, you know, because just being in shore, you know, this is not where he's meant to be living. But I mean, he's swimming around and just kind of looking at the surface for food and stuff. I guess that is something I've never seen. That's crazy. Oh. <laughs> There we go. There's that snook. Shrimp sticking right out of his mouth. They can do. This one looks like a regular pond. Is this a fat snook? There we go. First snook of the day right there. Little fatty. Super, super healthy. I mean, this is a, a good sized fat snook. They don't get huge. That's, that's pretty awesome though. How's that? Mark, oh, look, look at all these snook underneath this dock right here. You see them yeah. back left piling? Heads are facing the They're oh, coming wow. out. Yeah. They went down towards it. Oh, it's a big one. Big one, big one, big one, big one. That was really surprising. All right. <laughs> Dude, he has, I don't think he even aware that he's hooked yet. I gotta go light on this fish. Yeah, I gotta go light on him. I don't wanna, he looks like he's got choked maybe. Ooh! Hey, we found that big one. 30. Oh, get, get away from the dock, get away from the dock, dude. He's not ready yet. He he hasn't even like. He hasn't even ran. No. Oh yeah. Dude, he's making me get down. I'm going loose on him. Yep. Yell at me if you want me to move. No, you're good. I'm going really loose on this fish though, because I only have 30 pound test on. You look perfectly well. Tighten up a little bit. That was not what I expected. Not at all. You see a bunch You're of little guys. Down and you on I saw my line go tight. Dude, I'm playing this drag so much. Dude, he's a bar. Yep. Wow, that's a good one. Oh, ho, ho, hey. <laughs> that is an awesome snook. What? He's chunky. Man. He, is. he is a fat, wow. healthy snook. You ready for ready for how great this hook was in there? Wow. He's got, he's got perfect colors. <laughs> well, that actually was kind of good in there. I was wrong. Whew. That's 30, 32. All right, that is our second snook of the morning, I think. And that is our, our really great snook. It's probably 30 to 32 inches. And that was on a, that little DOA shrimp. And I think I just posted a video the other day saying I've never caught a snook this big before. And this one's bigger than the last one. so. 
now is the time of year, I guess, to be throwing shrimp for some bigger size snook. That is just, he's fat, dude. He's such a healthy snook. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That was great. That is a perfect snook right there. That's just like the most perfect, fat, healthy, no scrapes, no bumps. Okay, we are done for the day. It was a surprisingly pretty good day. You know, when, when you ever take new people out fishing, it typically always goes bad, it feels like. You know, you know, you, it's just a weird thing where it feels like bad luck no matter what you do. It never seems to go right, but today it went definitely went right. You know, we caught a ton of good sized jack. We caught a really nice sized snook and a little fat snook. It was a ton of fun. Definitely, definitely go check out Spencer, Instagram, Slack Tide Media, and then website, slacktidemedia.com. Simple as that. He's the man. He filmed some. He's probably going to edit and put up what we did today sometime. Not today, but he's going he's <laughs> gonna to put up what we filmed today onto his Instagram and website. So you guys definitely got to check it out. I appreciate you guys. Make sure you go follow him. See you guys.